on. They're really trying to come for me today. Okay. Hopefully the dolls can find me and we can come back on the live stream. Baby, the first live stream really came for me. I don't know what happened. My phone shut off on me. <laughs> Uh, while we're doing that, let me go ahead and put some primer on my eyes. This is going to be a testing of brand new makeup that I just got. I'm going to use the Makeup by Ariel uh, brushes. I'm going to try and use the Kimchi blush palette. I'm going to try and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. Uh, and then we'll figure it out. Right now, I'm going to start off with, uh, I'm gonna use my P. Louise makeup base. As you guys can see, yesterday I did my makeup and my eyes are still stained. Um, this is a shout out to Miss Joellipus in the house. Um, I had previously, I said on my channel that I was gonna do a live stream on Sunday where we were gonna do hot topics and, I, and I, Joella was gonna come over However, I forgot that on Sunday I go, I'm going to San Francisco. I, for, I, I had not checked the dates. So I'm going to have to reschedule that until I come back. I should be back around Wednesday of next week. And then uh, Joella and I will get together. We'll talk and we'll, we'll figure out when to make that happen. Um, I'm going to do my P. Louise base. Ju Julian Rivera, um, to whoever gave me um, a, a shout out or a super chat on the previous live that shut off, put it in right now so I can read it, baby. Thank you, Joella said that's perfect because we need time to make the table and the set. Yes, we are building a set. Uh, well, let's not ruin it for the dolls. Okay, um, who, Julian, who's, who else, who else came on here? Let me put this base on real quick. <gasps> Oh, this base is strong, baby. I I normally don't ever do my makeup this way. I always do my eyes first, and then I do my face. However, today um, I just I wanted to try makeup on my eyes, so I was like, let me just do something. Uh, Miss Julian said, "Girl, I said I am glad to see you living your little life, baby. Thank you, honey. You know what?" Today I went to the grocery store, I went to H-E-B, and I finally bought groceries. And I actually put groceries, that's a huge deal for me, um, because I purchased a refrigerator, like, literally a month ago, and then I started to travel, so I, I, the only thing I had in my fridge was water, because I didn't want my food, like, if I bought food, I didn't want it to go bad, I didn't want it to go to waste, I've been traveling so much, so I had no food in my refrigerator, um, and I'm just like, girl, okay, it's time. I need food in the fridge. So today I went and I got some food. I am traveling again on Sunday. I'm going to San Francisco, but it's a quick trip. I'm going and I'm coming back. So I'll be back home. Uh, hopefully my food doesn't spoil <laughs> while I'm gone for like two, three days. Uh, I should be gone about three days because it's one day of travel and then the one day for the gig that I'm doing, uh, and then the next day I travel back. So I'll be gone a total of three days. However, I am gonna challenge myself to go live even while I am traveling. You guys know that usually when I travel, I don't do live streams because I'm so busy and there's not always reliable internet. And you know, I just, it's, it's a busy time for the dolls. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm gonna challenge myself to try to go live while I am in San Francisco. And you guys, please remind me to go live because sometimes I'm like, I'm on the road and she, you know the dolls, she's going through the gigs and on the road and she forgets. But hopefully um, I can go live. Shout out to Miss Melissa0718. Miss Melissa, she said, what is in San Francisco? I actually have, I'm doing makeup. I'm doing makeup in San Francisco. And that's all I can say for now. The doll is a traveling girl. She's a traveling girl. And you know, that's the beauty of YouTube. I'm, I've been on YouTube doing makeup and now she gets to travel and do makeup across the country. And isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Shout out to Miss Nayir Anadi. Miss Nayir Anadi. And she said, when are you coming to Pennsylvania? I would love to meet you, maybe give you a gay expo tour and get you some trade. Let me know. <laughs> I've never been to Pennsylvania. 
uh, but I would love to. Let me let me throw it out there in the universe. I want to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw cities out there that I want to go to. I'm gonna throw it in the universe, and hopefully it comes true. I want to go to Atlanta. I want to go to Pennsylvania. Uh, I want to go to Boston. I want to go to. Uh, well, I'm going to San Francisco. That was up there on my list, and I can't wait. Um, where else should I go? Where else should I go? I want to go to Chicago. Never been to Chicago. I was actually supposed to go to Chicago the, um, a couple of months ago, but I decided not to because I was I was just like, I was traveling so much. I was like, girl, there's no way I can go to Chicago and come right back. It's going to kill me. So I decided not to go to Chicago. But in the future, when I have a little bit more time, hopefully I get to go to Chicago. Uh, um, where else can I go? Where else can I go? I've Texas, I'm not bothered. Um, seen it all, done it all, tasted it all. Where else can I go? Up, uh, up. Uh, oh my God, Nashville. <gasps> okay, I had a, I, I, um, I went to Evansville, Indiana, but my flight, we stopped at Nashville. When I tell you, I let, I was only in Nashville for about thirty minutes because I waited for, I had car service that came picked me up and it took me to, um, Indiana, and uh, shout out to the car service dolls. When I tell you, I made, I had, I met, I didn't meet anybody, but my, when my grinder started going, bing, 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 bing. <gasps> when I tell you there is trade in Nashville, baby, miss, I, I felt like Nashville was going to let me have it. And I, when we were leaving, I was like, why are we leaving civilization? No! Like, I wish we would have stayed in Nashville, but we ended up going to Indiana. Um, Nashville. I want to go to Nashville. Shout out to Miss Amy McMillan, honey. Miss Amy McMillan. And she said, Baby Quinn Danica, any Venmo or Cash App Invo? Danica, so far, she is 18 years old. Uh, she told me today that she was going to go to the bank. She was going to get an account. And then she was going to create a Venmo. So hopefully that happens. Um... Miss Danica, she does not have a Venmo or a Cash App just yet. But as soon as we figure that out, I um, she will be posting it on her Instagram. So you guys, make sure you follow Miss Danica, honey. Let me tell you, Nashville. I felt an energy from Nashville, and I was like, honey, Miss Nashville's going to let me have it. Miss Nashville. Okay. Ugh, these colors are... I love this, so pretty. But is it me or is this kind of boring? Let me reiterate, for right now, I feel like I wanna do something more, something more. Plus I've already used this palette, it's very pretty. Uh, this is a blush. I feel like we have this already. I feel like I've seen this already. You know what? I feel like we're getting to the point in the makeup world where been there, done that, we've seen it, it's tired. You know, like, and I'm not trying to read anybody, I'm not trying to read these brands, but that's the fantasy that I'm feeling. Let me see what's the tea with Miss Mitchell. What do we think? This is, this is different. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what to think. But it's different. ¿Qué pasó con Divina? Divina is home. Divina is at home. Divina works. And Divina is home right now. Um, okay. Let me see what we can do. Let me see. Let me see. I, I just want to say, by the way, I want to send all the positive energy out there. And I hope that Carmelita Salinas is okay. I saw, if you guys know who Carmen Salinas is, press the number one. She is the grandmother of all of Mexico. Um, Carmen Salinas, she, she had like some health issues today. And I saw that she was like in critical condition. And I was like, no, not Carmelita Salinas, honey. Joella Puss said, the highest bidder, pick an eyeshadow color, and you create a look. The dolls. <laughs> not the, not me doing a raffle for an eyeshadow, girl. <laughs> no, that's too much. That is too much. Um, salud. I just want to send positive vibes, love, uh, positive energy, and a prayer. And I hope that 
Carmelita Salinas is okay, honey, because, oh, I remember her since, like, uh, my whole, pretty much my whole existence, my whole life, Carmen Salinas, honey. Um, what colors? What colors? What colors? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely insane, and I'm going to use these two shades right here. I'm really living for the shade Lactose, this crazy, crazy pink. Uh, and I'm living for this shade. It's called Inholerant. Oh, Inholerant. I love that. Lactose and Inholerant, these crazy pinks. I really want to see what they give. I want to see if they give me the fantasy. Shout out to Ms. Nayira Nadi. Dice, ¿Qué dice la divina en qué anda? Uh, Divine Garza is actually... Um, she, we were supposed to go out today to Mel's Honky Tonk to show support to Miss Danica. I'm not sure if that's going to happen anymore because Divine called me earlier, actually. And she told me that her puppy passed away and her and her daughter were, like, really sad and devastated. Um, so I don't think Divine is going to go out tonight because she said she was feeling really sad. Her puppy passed. So um, I don't know if we're going to go out today. I don't know if we're going to. And I don't want to go out by myself. Because I had already made plans with Divines and she canceled on me. So um, she told me she would let me know later. But if she doesn't go out, I'm not going out. Uh, for everyone who's wondering why the name of the eyeshadow is Lactose, this is the Milk Palette. Um, literally, it says so right here. Do you want some milk? And let me tell you, baby, the trade, they want all the milk, honey. They want all of it, honey. Let me tell you, there's not enough milk. There's no... <laughs> let me tell you, baby, there is not enough milk for the trade, honey. Th these trades, they swear we're like these cows with udders that just can produce milk around the clock. No, we can't. It's too much. The trade are really hungry and really thirsty. Shout out to Miss Sean, honey. Miss Sean in the house. And she said, just passing by Lush, I love you, sis. The girls want a battle, and I'm ready for war. Miss Sean, you already know the tea, baby. You already been you. You been new. Let me clean this disgusting brush. Um, I will be using the Makeup by Ariel. Makeup by Ariel brushes. Let me see if there's anything in here that I could possibly use today. Oh, I can use the... Oh. Don't tell me these brushes are busted. Don't tell me these brushes are busted. Girl, the Mitchell, the Mitchell brushes were a disaster. Look at this. A true disaster. What is going on with these makeup? Look at this. This is how these brushes got in here. Look, they look like they got swallowed up through, through a fucking grinding machine, girl. Horrible. Okay, these look like they're in a little bit better condition than the Mitchell brushes. I'm gonna try and see, let me see. I mean, it's Morphe. You can't expect them to give you the sun and the moon. You know what I mean? It's only Morphe. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna clean this brush first because I'm gonna apply a little bit of an eyeshadow primer base in a color. This is too much. This is too much. I am so shook by these, these girls. Let me tell you, these girls, they needed to get it together. That's all I'm going to say, baby. They need to get it together. I'm going to need the trade to leave me alone, baby. You were trying to come over here and get these cookies yesterday, and then at the last minute, you canceled on me, sweetie. You know what? These doors are closed to you forever. You're never getting back in these cookies. Let me see what's... Now you want to hit me up? Baby, no ma'am. No ma'am. You have to teach these trades a lesson. It's not when they want. It's when mama wants. It's when mama wants. Trust. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me drink some water. The girls. They really try to battle. They really try to battle. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this pink eyeshadow primer base right here. We're really trying to go for subtle. 
we're trying to go for subtlety. Subtle tea, girl. Subtle tea, darling. We're trying to go for subtle tea. Lush, they make essential water now. It's in a two gallon box with a pump and it's fierce. <laughs> Only Joella would find the two gallon water with a pump. <laughs> Oh, the dolls. What is going on? I need to try it. <laughs> Girl, I need a I need I need them to create a watermill over here at my house. <laughs> I need an Essentia watermill, honey. Can I get the Essentia trade? Can I get the Essentia trade to come over here and create a watermill for me, mama? <laughs> The disco dolls really want a battle. What is this giving? <laughs> what is this giving? Oh my God. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up, this is the Makeup by Ariel brush in the, this I guess this is in the number A20. Where is the Mitchell palette? Where is the Mitchell palette? Girl, if this, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If this eyeshadow palette is chalky, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. This reminds me very of like Beauty Bay and it low key. <laughs> I'm not trying to be shady. I'm just being honest. Low key, it reminds me of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And that triggers me. <laughs> it triggers me so hard. Okay, we're going to use... This is uh, Lactose. Ooh, Licky Licky. Licky Licky. This shade is cute too, Miss Licky Licky. Do you guys see this? I keep changing it around now. Should I go with this pink or this? Should I do this combo or this combo? Mmm, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with Miss Lactose. Let me see what the tea is. Okay, we're gonna pop this in here. Let's see if this oh please don't tell me you have a million and one fallout. Please don't give me fallout, baby. Come through for mama. Give me pigment, give me butter smooth, silky eyeshadow, por favor. No me salgas con tus historias de terror. No me salgas con tus historias de terror. El terror existe, chicas. El terror existe. The terror is real. But you know what? This is actually looking really pretty, 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 pretty. I was going to say pretty full. This is looking very pretty full. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, she's got pigmentation. <laughs> the shade. Joella puts in the comments fully coming up with her conspiracy theories. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. This formula, I'm not I'm not going to lie. It feels pretty cute. I mean, I'm also only using just one eyeshadow and it's a crazy pink that's super vibrant, so I haven't really played with the entire eyeshadow palette, but so far at first glance this pink and there's there's fallout but i mean of course this is a 
I really hope that pink doesn't stain my under eye. I really hope that pink does not stain my under eye. I'm gonna be so over it. Okay, let me pat this on here. Shout out to Miss Blair. We have Miss Blair in the house. And she says, how do you feel about Trixie Cosmetics? We know you stand kimchi chic, but never see you use Trixie stuff. You know what? I'm actually, I am a huge fan of Trixie Mattel. Um, I'm actually, I'm, we're friends as well. Um, I just feel like Trixie's, I, how can I say this? I love Trixie. <laughs> That's my answer. That's my answer. I love Trixie Mattel. I support Trixie Mattel. I am a follower and supporter of Trixie Mattel. I love Trixie Mattel. I live for Trixie Mattel. <laughs> um, I don't know why I, you, you know what? I was gonna try Trixie Mattel cosmetics, but one time I went on YouTube and I, I went to see reviews of Trixie's products. And I remember seeing this girl and she was using a Trixie lipstick and she said, this is the worst formula I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and then in my mind, I guess I just, I was just like, I'm going to, eventually I'm going to try some Trixie Mattel products. But then it just never happened. Like for some reason or, the, or another, I don't know if, I don't know if it's the color stories. I don't know. It has to be the color stories. I just never got around to buying any Trixie makeup. And this is not any shade to Trixie because I like we're we're actually like Trixie has literally been such a supporter of mine and I love Trixie to death. But I don't know what it is. I just haven't had a chance to purchase any Trixie makeup. I want to try it. I just haven't had the opportunity to try it. And I need to try it because I need to, like, I know it comes off as, like, well, luscious. You're not being supportive of your friends. Um, and that's not the case. That's not what I'm trying to. Like, I'm not, I'm not actively trying to, like, boycott Trixie Cosmetics or not use Trixie Cosmetics because I love and respect Trixie Mattel so much. I just haven't gotten around to using her makeup. I... You know what? I, I, I have no excuse. And I'm going to have to literally, as soon as this video is over, go and purchase Trixie Cosmetics now. Because if not, the girls are going to drag me. <laughs> what should I get? Okay, first of all, for everybody watching on my live stream right now, what do you guys recommend that I should purchase to try out from Trixie Mattel Cosmetics? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, what should I try? Um, I know I see a lot of comments where girls are like, no, you shouldn't try it. You're not on the PR list. Don't be bothered. I, I don't see it that way. Honestly, Trixie is um, like she is an, like it's her own business. It's her own makeup. And you cannot. Ex I feel like when your friends start a business, you should support them. You should not expect them to automatically give you things for free. So I actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Trixie doesn't really send out a lot of PR. So I don't think it's a, oh, she should put you on the PR list. She should send you PR. It's not that. It's more that she's more focused on trying to create makeup and making sure her makeup sells because she is putting up all the capital up front. And that that's also one of the reasons why these smaller brands... A lot of the times they they don't do a lot of like releases. Sometimes they'll do maybe two or three releases a year. Sometimes one release a year. You know what I mean? They don't release like there's there are brands. Like, remember Anastasia? They would release like every other month or every month. They had a new collection drop and drop and drop and drop. Those are huge brands that like they have they can send out ton of PR and it's no big deal. Smaller brands like Trixie's brand, because I've literally, I watch her videos and stuff and she's talked about this. She doesn't really send out PR because 
it's everything is coming from her. So if she if she sends out PR, that PR costs her money. You know what I mean? And I understand that. So I'm I I, I need to try Trixie Mattel cosmetics. I just haven't had a chance. And thank you to whoever asked me that shady ass question. <laughs> Cause let me tell you, sis, that was a shady question, girl. <laughs> the girls are trying to get me, honey. The girls really try to get me today. <laughs> um, every time I go to LA and every time I run into Trixie, she's the sweetest person ever. She's so humble. Literally one of the most humble people, super down to earth. Um, we, she's, she's shouted me out on her Instagram a bunch of times. And every time, Trixie's so funny in the sense where like, we don't really know each other that well because we haven't like spent a lot of time together. But every time I run into her, she's like, oh my God, it's my friend Luscious. And that to me, that's really, really sweet. So Honestly, there's no shade behind the fact that I haven't tried Trixie Cosmetics. The only reason and explanation I can give is literally I've just been really busy. I've been traveling so much. And unless I'm getting PR, I, I don't really buy makeup that often. However, I it's not an excuse. And I need to show support. And I need to purchase Trixie's makeup. That's that's literally the, the, the honest to God truth. I, you know, sometimes as an influencer, you get spoiled. You know, I have all these brands sending me makeup and Trixie is a smaller brand. She doesn't really send PR and I just haven't had a chance to purchase her makeup. But that's going to change. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to purchase some Trixie makeup, okay? I promise you guys, there's no tea, there's no drama, there's absolutely no shade. I, Trixie and I are really, really cool with each other. I just haven't had a chance to try the makeup. Oh my God, and I wanna try Ariana Grande's brand too. That's, that's honest to God, I really wanna try that brand. Okay, I need like a cute transition trade over here because I don't wanna go all the way in with this pink. It feels a little gross. Let me see if, I, oh, I'm gonna use this. Okay, so I'm gonna try this soft pink. There, ah! Oh my God, not me destroying the palette already. This is in the shade, I guess this is like an Udder, Udder one. The name of the shade is Udder, U-D-D-A one, Udder one. Girl, these names, you gag me, sis. Udder one, we're gonna try this, um, we're gonna try this eyeshadow palette right here. We're gonna try this soft, this is like a soft pink. Let me see if this has any color at all. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, it's kinda cute. Oh, work, she better work. I'm also using, oh, I moved on. I'm using a different eyeshadow palette. This is the Makeup by Ariel. This is in the shade, in the style A25. These eyeshadow palettes feel kinda cute. I'm not gonna lie. These are kind of cute. So far, these feel cute. Oh. Work. How much do they retail? I have no idea. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. These are so, like, these came out such a long time ago, but I've been traveling so much, I never got around to using them, so I'm using them now. Maybe this is, like, totally redundant because these, th this is, like, so tired and old already at this point, but I'm barely getting a chance to use these. Shout out to Miss Brigitte Butler. Miss Brigitte Butler. Brigitte butler and she said i am so damn proud of you love you oh thank you miss brigitte i really really appreciate that i will say um that crazy hot pink had a lot of fallout i did put some eyeshadow under um some powder underneath so i hope once i wipe this off it doesn't go all over my under eye because that's gonna suck um 
but this soft pink, very quinceañera, old school, like eight quinceañera from the 80s. This is cute. The quinceañera from the 80s tees. Very quinceañera from the 80s type of tees. It's blending, girl. Look. Isn't it? Is it? I think it is. <laughs> I hope it is. At least I hope it is, girl. I feel like it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab a brush, something like this, and then I'm gonna use my powder. This is the powder that is in my shade. Um, I am shade NC45. And what I usually do to try to like marry these two colors together is I'll just, I'll tap a little bit of my powder around the corners of this eyeshadow. And it kind of helps me tone it down and blend it together a little bit. Mm -hmm. Come on, Miss Powder. Come on, Miss Powder. Mm. Is that doing anything? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. Okay, there we go. It just kind of helps blend everything and tone it down so it's not so, so vibrant. Okay, we did that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of concealer. Um, and I'm going to use my P. Louise Rumor number four to put that on my lid area. Where's my brush? Where is my brush that I use for this? I probably am not gonna find that brush anymore. Where is this brush, baby doll? Honey, the dolls really love to battle. In this moment, I always do. You know what, I'm just gonna, should I just use this? I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna pray for the hope and pray for the, pray and hope for the best. This is the Makeup by Ariel brush in A29. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this concealer right here. This brush feels cute. This brush feels real cute. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my lid. I'm not gonna cut my crease. I am more cutting my lid. So I'm gonna place the product right here and I'm gonna feel out where my lid is supposed to go. Not where it's supposed to go, where my lid is, actually. So this is where my lid is. Which is... The best way to understand this is by... Trying to feel out where your eyeball is. That's where my eyeball is. If I press this right here, I can feel my eyeball all over this. That is how I cut my lid or how I place my lid on my socket. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. You follow your eyeball. Yes. The more I've been doing makeup, the more I've been realizing you need a really good primer. A really good base will help your makeup stick on and really pop. But if your base is not right, or if you don't use a good base at all, the makeup is just not gonna show up. 
the makeup is just not going to show up. Okay. Oh, do those look even? Oh, oh. oh baby. Baby girl. Baby doll. It doesn't matter if they're not super, super even because right now we're going to go back in with that pink eyeshadow and we're going to kind of blend it down a little bit. Um, let me see if this same eyeshadow brush can place my eyeshadow that I want on my lid. I'm going to go in with the crazy intolerant pink. I feel like this is going to be a test to see how good this eyeshadow palette really is. I feel like that's one of the standout colors. Um, so I'm gonna try and see if I can pick this up. <gasps> Look at that. Mm. I'm a little scared, but let's see if that pops up in there. <gasps> Ooh, I'm scared. Let me see if I can pick it up with my finger. Tengo miedo, tengo mucho miedo. Yo tengo mucho miedo. Mm, that's pretty, actually. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty. However, I wanted it to be more. You know what I mean? You know who does really fierce, like, crazy holographics like this? Manny MUA. His eyeshadow palettes, his, and I, not, not just because he's my friend and he's my Judy and, like, legit. That's just the true tea. Okay. Manny actually has a really pretty, like, crazy, crazy purple in his palette. Let me see if I can pop it on. It might not, it might not grab on anymore because I already put this on here. But this purple. Ooh. Let me see if it'll help it pop. Ah! Oh, it did look. You see the difference? You see, I don't, I'm not a liar. I, you can call me many things, honey. You can call me fat. You can call me obese. You can call me a terror, a creature, a monster. But you're not going to call me a liar. Look at that. Look at the difference. La diferencia. You see the difference in quality? This is what we wanted. Oh, look, it's popping even more. Look at the difference, darling. The quality. I didn't, and you know what? The gag, I didn't use anything but my finger. I didn't use a brush. I'm about to pop it back on. Look, this is the Manny MUA. This is from his brand new Moon Spell Volume 2 palette. He, his reflective shadows are always stunned. Look at that. That is what the dolls wanted. That is what I was imagining in my head. I was imagining a crazy, reflective pink. Now, okay, that makes more sense. This looks prettier, doesn't it? It speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Gagged. 
Baby, I'm gagged. In disbelief, utter shock. Okay, so now, <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Lactose. I'm gonna grab that pink and I'm gonna pack it on right here in the outer corner just to try to blend these shadows together and intensify that pop of pink. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that, mama. Okay. Okay. Me gusta. Me gusta el pink. The pink is lovely. But the other reflective pink... It speaks for itself. Look, let me tell you something. This is cute and everything. Three out of five stars. I can tell, and let me tell, let me explain why. Let me explain why I'm gonna give this a three out of five. If I had not put down that pink primer, and you guys saw me from the beginning, if I had not put down this pink primer before, I don't know what this pink shadow would have given to me. I don't know if this pink shadow would have been able to give me what I needed. Now, you guys saw me put down a clear nude concealer primer down, and this pink shadow did not give me what I wanted. So, 3.5. 3.5 out of 5. This is the Made by Mitchell palette. I'm going to give her a 3.5 out of 5. She's not, she's, she's cute. She's cute. She's cute. But I don't know if she was ready to give me what mama needed. You know what I mean? Three point five three point five out of five. Three point five out of five. Three point five out of five. That, that pink right there really turned it.
Okay, now I'm gonna do a liner and I'm gonna pop on a lash and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna move on to the face. I might do a, gra should I do a graphic line? Press the number one if you guys want me to do like a, like a white graphic line. Like I've been doing it a lot recently, but it just, I feel like it feminizes my face so much. And let me tell you sis, I need as much feminization as possible. Um, I love a good feminization tea, type of teas. I love a good feminization. I'm gonna pop on that eyeshadow again, that Lunar Beauty. I'm gonna do another pop right in the center. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the, a lot of girls are saying don't do it. Okay, fine. Um, how can I do this? Oh, maybe I can put it on a brush. Let me see if the brush will pick it up with. Usually these, these eyeshadows are best applied with a finger, these holographic ones. Let me see if this will pick it up right here. Did that help? It did, huh? It gave it a little pop. It gave it the gay pop, didn't it? That little pop that we knew she wanted and we knew she needed her. And that was the Moonspell Volume 2 palette in the shade Luna from Lunar Beauty, the Moonspell palette. Okay, I love that, by the way, I'm just going to say this really quick because this is true team. I love that this was technically a Halloween season palette. It's a moon spell book, but there's nothing, honestly, in this color combination story that tells me when I open it, oh, that's a Halloween palette. I can only use it during Halloween. You can use this whenever you're feeling purpley, lavender-y, red-y, kind of, you know what I mean? It doesn't scream. It's not like a tacky Halloween, like all only oranges and browns and pinks. I, I'm sorry, orange, brown, and black. That to me would be like a tacky Halloween palette. This is not like a tacky Halloween palette because it doesn't even really have any Halloween colors. It kind of just gave you its own little vibe and I live for that because it's November and I'm still using the sh the heck out of that palette you know what I mean so we love that and I think Manny is very smart for doing that help the dolls if you guys are enjoying the video if you guys are enjoying my honest reviews which maybe they're a little too honest uh please make sure you guys like and support give me a little gay like um so that this video can pop up and the dolls can actually see it. People can actually see it. I would really, really, really appreciate your support so much. Uh, and also a lot of you guys asked me to do makeup reviews and tutorials and stuff. And I usually tend to stay away from it because in my mind, I'm like, they don't really get views. People don't really watch those anymore. So if you guys actually do enjoy makeup reviews and tutorials, um, please make sure you like this video so that I can keep this video up because if it doesn't get any likes or any views that just goes to show that people they don't they don't want to see this stuff so it just makes me not want to do it you know so if if this is something that you guys like to watch please make sure you support because if not you know the doll's not going to be pressed she's not going to be bothered to do this kind of cosmetical makeup fantasy Okay, let's move on to my liquid eyeliner. Let me see if I can find it. And you guys know this is my go-to eyeliner. This is from uh, Makeup by Mario. I love this liquid eyeliner pen. I am so tired of getting makeup all over my hands every time I put my hands down. Um, okay, let me 
by the way, can, I'm just gonna do a close up. Look how pretty that looks up close. I love. I am here for at. Okay. Mm, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do my liner. You see, this is what I love about this liner pen. You can use the very tip, look at the tip, and makeup still comes out. Even if you, look, I'm gonna use the tip, tip, tip. Do you see that? A lot of liner pens, they dry out from the tip. So it doesn't, you can't get any precision and it comes out all thick or, you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't work. This works. And boom, she's done. Boom. She's done in a one, two step. I love that. I used to be very the girl who would hate do, using liner pens for my liner because it felt like it's, it's not gonna last. You can't really get a, the line that you want. So I used to be very, and I mean, I still am sometimes when I want a super, super, super crisp black line, I use a cream. But for the most part, I'm just like, I'm on the go. Let's just put on a black line, a good black line that's going to last, and let's keep it pushing. And for me, the Makeup by Mario Super Black Master Matte Liquid Liner, and this is a super black matte. She does the job, girl. She does the job well. Okay, let me see if I can do a really quick white graphic line, because I want to do it. Let me see if I can find my brush that I use. Oh, no! The Disco Dolls, I think. I'm not gonna find that white brush because it's at the bottom of the pile of all my brushes, which I just put out so that I could wash them. Oh, let me see if I can find it down here. Where are you, Sister Lou, Mary Lou, Mary Ann, Mary Jane, Mary Weather, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. No! Oh, no. Is this her? I don't think this is her. You know what? She's not her. She's not me. She doesn't have my name. She'll never have what I have. She won't be the same. She won't be the same. She's not me. Do y'all remember that song? Press the number two, baby, if you remember that song. She'll never have my name. She'll never have what I have. She won't be the same. The Dolls. You know, that song, Madonna was coming for Gaga. I feel like Madonna was fully coming for Lady Gaga. That came out, like, right after the whole Gaga like came out on the scene and everybody was comparing Gaga to Madonna. And so then Madonna released her album, Hard Candy. And if I'm not mistaken, this album was, this song was Madonna coming for Lady Gaga. And the dolls were shook. She won't be the same. She won't be the same. Madonna was coming for Gaga. You know Madonna. She loves to be a shady doll. Oh, 
but so does Gaga. And let me tell you something. I ain't complaining, baby. I live. She won't be the same. She's not me. She'll never have my name. She'll never get what I am. It won't be the same. She's not me. She won't be the same. She won't be the same. She's not me. And such wonderful hair. She's not me. She's not. Da -da -da -da. Shout out to Miss Kraken Teeth Gaming. Miss Kraken Teeth Gaming. And she says, Lush. I love you, Lush. Also, I got my Elden Ring network test code for PS4 at 3 a.m. Yes. T minus six hours till the network opens. Who else got their code? Sue's sister, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Are the girls gaming? What is the tea, darling? What is the tea with the dolls? I actually have no idea what's going on. Um, I gave my PS4 to my little brother, so I have not been playing on my PlayStation 4. So I actually have no idea what's going on in the world of PlayStation. Let me put on this line real quick. She's not me. She'll never have my name. She'll never have what I have. It won't be the same. You know I can do it better. She's not me. She'll never have my name. So what I like to do is when I do these graphic lines on my eyes, I grab a cream white liner. Now, if you make a mistake and you do a line and you don't really like it, the beauty of a, weak, um, a, a white cream eyeliner is you can quickly dab your eyeshadow, whatever eyeshadow you were using, on the white line and it kind of makes it disappear and then you just go back over it with the other the line that you were originally the shape that you were originally trying to get uh and then you fix it and then once you get the line exactly where you want it the shape that you want then you can go over with a crisp strong white liquid line and the dolls are ready Now, if I see any of y'all out there with these crisp, white <laughs> graphic lines, y'all better give me some credit if y'all if y'all learned it from me. That's all I want to know. Just give tag tag a hoe, honey. Tag a hoe. Tag the hug. Tag, tag the hose. She won't be the same. Da -da 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 da 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 She's not me. Do -do 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 -do. Now I have that song stuck in my head.
da, 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 da. Divina is doing okay. Uh, her puppy passed away today. So she messaged me uh, and she told me she is not going to be going out tonight. Because uh, we were originally supposed to go out tonight to Mel's Honky Tonk. But since Divine, um, she's not feeling up for it. She's not going out. Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to go out. Because I don't know if I'm in the mood to go out either. So, we shall see what happens. No promises. No promises at all. No promises at all, darling. She's not me. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the face. I am going to dust off everything. Not Kendall. Is Kendall Jenner really on my... <laughs> Not Kendall Jenner coming on my live stream and saying, hi, doll. How are you, mamas? Shout out to Mr. Peppermint Patty, honey. Miss Pe Mr. Peppermint Patty. And he says, hi, beautiful mama. Would you ever consider going on Drag Race? Um, I would more than consider going on Drag Race. Shout out to Miss Bethany Fury. She said, hey, boo, it's been a hot minute. Love the House of Fury. Shout out to the House of Fury, honey. The House of Fury is in the house. Shout out to Ms. Radio Dreamer. And she says, Madonna got the gays over the world. Lady Gaga got the drags. Girl, I don't think that's accurate. I'm pretty sure both Madonna and Gaga have a claim to gays and drag queens. Um, trust me. I've seen it myself. Okay. Now we're going to remove this powder from under my eyes. And let's hope and pray that this pink um, shadow just blows away. Did it blow away? Oh, it did blow away, thank God. I was gonna start freaking out. I was going to start freaking out if it did not blow away. Shout out to Miss Ivan Ramos, honey. Miss Ivan Ramos in the house. And she said, hi, babes. I am so very happy that you're back on YouTube, but still live for your glow. Uh, oh, and but still live for your glow up. Also, I am watching you while I clean out for my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> You better, girl, let me tell you, I live. I live for the dolls who are watching me as they are douching out. I am totally okay with you having that comfort level around me. I embrace it. I applaud it. I live for it. I'm here for you. You better douche that booty haul, baby. Make sure you get it cleared out. Here's my recommendation for douching. You know. If you're trade, if you're man, if you're husband, your boyfriend, whatever, you kind of know what he's going to do. You know if he's going to go deep, deep into the trenches or if he's just going to give you something light and comfortable and quick. You know, because there's trade who, it ain't even worth it for you to douche all the way to the fifth chamber because, baby, they're going to... Baby, it's going to be a wrap. You know, they can't hold it. They can't hold it that much. However, if you know that your man is really going to go in deep and profound, then you need to make sure you do. This is my technique, okay? Let me let you know the tea because I had trade the other day when I was in Las Vegas. And let me tell you, I had to prepare myself early and I had to time it around so that by the time he came over, there was nothing in my body. Because I knew he was about to go in and open the floodgates. He was going to do the alakazam, alakadabra, 
Alahamora open sesame spell on me and he was gonna open me all the way through. Boom, 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 one lock after the other lock after he's gonna get he was gonna get complete entry into the body. Let me tell you, he was gonna go in and destroy every single door and wall there was. So Here's my recommendation, baby. Okay, hold on. Let me do this while I blush. Oh, we were going to try... Um, I'm going to try out the kimchi blush. And let's see what this is going to give me, okay? Um, anyways, this is what I do when I'm douching and when I need to get all the way in, okay? I'm already looking at this palette and I'm looking at my face and how tan I am and how much of a brown lady I am. And this scares me. Let me try this one right here. Let me see if this shows up on my skin tone at all. Uh, okay, so what I do is I usually... <laughs> I usually... Um, I usually douche until I'm clear about an hour, hour and a half before I know the trade session is going to begin. So I douche and like I you know I I douche and then I sit in the toilet and I you know she empties out her cavities um, and I do that a couple of times until I'm completely crystal clean clear sickening fierce the water is completely pristine and clear that's when you know that you have douched yourself to maybe like the first second chamber and you're gonna be fine. And then I keep on getting ready. I put my makeup on or whatever I'm doing if I'm being a cross-dresser doll, which I usually am a, a little cross-dresser girl when the trade comes over, whatever. And then, let me tell you the rest of the tea. 15, whenever the trade tells me, baby, I'm almost there. I'll be there in about 10, 15 minutes. Then I go back and I douche again. And let me tell you, when I go back and I douche again, Everything that was inside, all up in, in, in my stomach, in my intestines, everything that was in the third, fourth, fifth chamber, all of that in the hour that I waited from my previous douche, all of that stuff came down. So when I douche again, you're going to release your, I guarantee you, you will release. What do I call this? You, you will release. There's no other word but excrement, bitch. You will release all the excrement that you had deep inside your body. She's going to come out of you, okay? So then you, all this excrement is just going to come out of you, okay? You probably, let me tell you something. You probably don't even need to douche anymore. You're just going to sit down and it's going to, it's going to flood right out of you, okay? And then you, you, you make sure you clean yourself out and you douche again. Boom, douched one after the other, after the other until you're crystal clear again. Thank you. The remnants of the past and previous life, the remnants are there. You douche again. When you get your water crystal clear a second time, I feel like you'll be fine. Now you're good. Now you're good to just give that trade and that man and that your, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever's going on, just make, just give him the green light. Give him the green light, baby. You will be fine. Trust in me. Trust in the Dutch. Tra trust the diva, the doll. You will be fine because you should be fine. You'll be fine. But here's the next kicker. You know, a lot of the girls nowadays, we have the sexual revolution, sexual freedom, all this team. Every time you have a session, make sure you douche in between sessions. So let's say you have trade at 9 o'clock and you did a full clean out boots, the house, and they pound the walls to death and redecorate your entire home. They do a renovation, okay? After that trade leaves, if you get back on the grind and you invite another trade to come over, make sure you clean out until you get crystal clear waters. Make sure you see clear... Make sure that you see crystal clear waters again before you have another trade come over. Because, you know, the girls nowadays, they live in the future, the, the sexual revolution, sexual freedom. The girls nowadays, you know, they love to live their life, their fantasy. And sometimes 
the hunger is real and nothing can satisfy your thirst, your hunger and all that tea. So if you're having repeat customers and repeat clients or repeat, you know, or maybe you're you're the one purchasing the, the, the experience. There's nothing wrong with that either. Whatever your tea is, mama, make sure that in between trade, you make sure you see crystal clear waters again. Make sure you go to the Essentia. You, that water is giving you Essentia water, Fiji water, Evian water bottle fantasy, okay? Take notes. Take notes. I am not one of these crazy um, gays that they be starving themselves for two days and then they go on like these crazy colon blockers and the Metamucil and then they're like all constipated and they're like backing up their, their intestines and like putting everything in a separate pocket and they're like rearranging. Like I don't do all that. That to me is too much. That is insanity to me. You just clean yourself out as much as you can and pray for the best and hope Mother Nature is on your side. I can't with these girls who don't eat for like two, three days and they're like all of the girl just putting using medications and they're using powders and teas and like they're having a whole prayer circle and all of I can't do that. That to me is too much. If you're doing all of that, girl, it takes out the fun out of life. You're, if you're literally having to power train your body for a full eradication of excrementation for like three, four days before you even have a session, it's not worth it, sis. It's really not that serious. Baby, let me tell you something. Even if you douche yourself to the to all the chambers and to the chamber of secrets, let me tell you. Even if you douche yourself all the way to the chamber of secrets, and you still paint the tray just a little bit, it's not the end of the world, honey. They know what they're getting themselves into. Literally, they know what they're getting themselves into. Okay, baby. The let me tell you. Some of these girls, they do too much. Press the number one. <laughs> Okay, let me go back to this blush who is really just giving mama nothing, baby. Give me nothing. Why don't you just give me absolutely nothing? This is a really cute blush for some Caucasian lady out there who's just going to live her life. And she's going to, let me tell you, there will be some Caucasian lady out there who will scream and look at this blush and say, oh my God, the pigmentation, the color. It's going to turn me out. Not me, mama. This ain't doing... I barely see her. Honey. She's There's nothing there. Okay, love her to death, but she's not going to give me what I need. Let me go over here and see what the tea is, baby. Because I saw some shout-outs. The girls were here. Shout-out. And I apologize in a very lengthy um, apology coming later on Twitter. I'm so sorry to all the girls who are having dinner and living their life... But, you know, these are the conversations. This is what the risk that you run when you come onto the Luscious channel because I keep it real. And these are the conversations that I like to talk about. Shout out to Miss Ivan Ramos. And she said, dead ass advice, Miss Massacre. You already know I've had the chia seeds, metamuso, and the nopalina because the girls are getting it tonight. Not the nopalina, girl. Not, girl, not the té de manzanilla, girl. Y la savila, girl. No, not you using the Mexican remedies, trying to get yourself prepared for the trade. That is too much. At this point, just go ahead and let your trade know, baby. This is going to be a scat session on the dolls because this is too much. I can't with these dolls. Not pulling out a chocolate abuelita, honey, and el té de sábila, el té de manzanilla, honey, and just all the um, los nopales y las guayabas, honey. That is too much. You gag me. You see, I let me tell you something. There ain't no trade worth all that. There ain't no trade. Shout out to Miss Denison 52. Miss Denison 52. She said, hey, Lush, what do you think of the girls putting contour around their lips? I love you. I have never heard of that. Contour around the lips. That sounds absolutely disgusting. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> 
let me tell you, if you do that, you don't love yourself. That sounds so disgusting. Not contouring around their lips. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the queen to say it right now. Oh, I'm so over this. I cannot deal with these drag queens that do these crazy, insane lips. And they look like booty holes. And you're, baby, can we just, ex I'm nobody to say this because I obviously paint like a crazy person. But when it comes to the lips, can you just accept reality? Can you, baby, if you have small, thin lips, just live in the real world. At least, look, at least when it comes to lips, sometimes these lips, they are out of control and it doesn't look flattering. It's all about flattering to me. There are some queens that they do these lips, they draw them all the way down here and then they go all the way up here. And then they just sit there and they expect you to believe. <laughs> That's the biggest gag for me. The audacity of these drag queens, they sit there and then they put gloss all the way up here and it looks like their lips were sweating. And they're like, they expect you to believe that that is where their lip really goes. They expect you to go on that journey. And I'm just looking at them and I'm just like, girl, that looks so disgusting. <laughs> it looks so disgusting. So if there are girls out there who are now they're doing contour around the lip on the, uh, girl, that's too much for me. I rebuke it. Drag has gone too far. The makeup artistry has gone too far. And we need to just confiscate these girls' lip brushes and just confiscate. Let me tell you something. Confiscate their lip products. It's too much. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling really cute and I'm feeling really fancy. So I'm going to use um, an eyeshadow as a blush because clearly... Um, that kimchi palette, love you to death, but it's not for me. Um, I'm going to use this crazy pink. Maybe it's too much. I'm going to do just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can y'all please stop? I'm not shading anybody. I'm not coming for anybody. Y'all are, y'all love to battle. Y'all love to really battle. Okay, where's my blush? Where's my actual human blush? Because <laughs> I'm fully using an eyeshadow right now to put blush on my face. I don't need to be doing all that. Where's Oh, here it is. This is my... Y'all know this. It's... This flesh is on OnlyFans, baby. You will never see the dark between my thighs ever in your life. Okay, this is my blush that I love. This is from the Lust Bar Cosmetics. Is this in the shade Rouge? There we go. I don't know why this shade is called Rouge when this is very clearly like a coral. This would be cute if it was called like a coral. The name. Because, I mean, it's cute, but it, to me, this is orange. This ain't no rouge. I'm not complaining. I love it. Shout out to Miss Denison 52. Miss Denison 52, honey. She said, not put concealer on the thighs, baby. You tried it. Shout <laughs> Miss Denison 52, and she said, Luscious Mercado, what do you see for the LGBT community 20 years from now? <laughs> I see the the uh, LGBT community imploding in itself. I see um, uh, no. Uh, on a real note, I I hope that we can get to a place where um, more and more um, there is more and more acceptance. I hope we get to a place where these notions of toxic masculinity, this toxic shame around trans women is eradicated and I hope that we get to a place where more human beings are more accepting of trans people and queer people and we can tear down those barriers and all those labels and people can just learn to love each other and accept each other 
for who they are, regardless if you're femme enough, if you're masculine enough, if you're man enough, if you're woman enough. Um, I hope we can get to a place where people don't have to constantly alter and change their bodies to make other people happy. You know, a, a lot of the times right now, for me as someone who is gender non-conforming, um, it can be very triggering sometimes for to see the pressure that we are placed to transition and to change our bodies and to get on hormones and to get the BBLs and to get implants and you have to get skinnier and you have to wear corsets and you have to have really long hair and you you have to be as feminine as possible, as feminine as possible and you have to grow out your nails and all of those things, all of those requirements, all of those pressures, all of those... Um, yeah, all, all of those things that they place on people who are queer and people who are trans, I really hope we can get to a place where none of that matters. I really hope we can get to a place where people can just accept you for who you are uh, regardless on the varying degrees of beauty or not beauty or the standard of femininity or not femininity. Um, and I feel like as we progress as a society, I feel like we will get to a place where more and more people stop paying attention to that stuff and they stop taking it so seriously and they stop it not only dictating their life, but it's, I hope we get to a point where it stops dictating their happiness. Because I feel like some of the, a lot of the times we put certain people put so much time, effort, their heart and their soul into changing who they are or changing their bodies because of the pressures of society. I hope I said that right. Let me put this blush on, baby. I feel like as we continue to grow, there will be more understanding. Do I make trade sign NDAs? No, but I should. Because I just had trade the other day tell me that he, he follows me on social media and he knows where I am, what I'm doing and all this. I was like, oh no, that's not cute. I don't want to get, I really don't want to get to the point where even the trade recognizes me everywhere? No, ma'am. Okay. Let me see. Nope. That's not it. Where's my, where's my contour? Nope. Where are you? Here she is. Shout out to Miss Radio Dreamer in the house, Miss Radio Dreamer, and she says, Okay, Lush, ¿cómo te caerían unos chilaquiles con pollito, unas enmoladas de carne, unas carnitas de Michoacán, o unas gorditas de chicharrón? I'm going to be completely honest with you, Miss Radio Dreamer. I'm such a bad Mexicana because everything you just listed is not my tea. <laughs> everything you just listed right now is not my tea. No me gustan las enmoladas, entomatadas, uh, las verdugueadas, vergueadas, todo eso. No me gusta personalmente. It's rare. Me gustan las tostadas, but they have to be like really good, really fresh. Uh, but tostadas are so difficult to eat. Um, ciertos tacos. Me gustan los tacos de trompo. Me gustan los tacos de bistec. Uh, me gustan los frijoles especiales. When I go to like the little taco places. Um... I don't like tortas. I'm not a torta girl, personally. Um, what else? I love enchiladas, but oh, this is so, I'm such a bad Mexican. I love enchiladas americanas. The American t style of enchiladas, which are technically still Mexican, but they just call them enchiladas americanas. Those are my favorite. I love enchiladas americanas con frijol, con arroz, y con, frijol, con, con arrocito y todo el escándalo. Um, 
ya, yeah, no me gustan las tortas, no, no, I'm not very, um, I'm not very the kind of girl que le gustan, like, ay, que me gusta, like, crazy, crazy, like, uh, it just depends, it depends. Ay, claro que me encanta el chorizo con huevo, me encanta papas con chorizo. Los taquitos de breakfast, I love. Me encantan los taquitos de almuerzo. I love. Um, everybody in the comments, let me know right now, what's your favorite Mexican food? Me, me gusta el mole, but only the one that my mom makes. If my mom didn't make the mole, I don't like it. Mole can be a little iffy for me. It has to be the one that my mom makes. Same with menudo. I can't have menudo or pozole unless it's the one that my mom made. If, like, straight up home-cooked Mexican menudo, that's the only way I can eat. I can never... I, I don't understand people who can go to a restaurant, like, and they can order menudo, and they just can... They can just eat it from anywhere. That, to me, is shocking. Shocking. Uh, I can't have menudo unless it's home. Because menudo is such a specific try, such a specific type of plate. I feel like you really know have to, you really have to know how to cook that. If you don't know how to cook menudo, like, ooh, girl, you're literally eating like, oh, you're eating straight up animal, an, a straight up animal, like concentrated animal. So I feel like unless it's my mom's menudo. I can't. I can't do it. And I see some of my homegirls, we go to like these little Mexican little diners and they order menudo and I'm like, ooh, and it looks all, like it looks white. Like it has no flavor. I'm like, sis, what is going on with you? That's not cute. That to me, gag. It gags me. When I see these girls doing all that, gagged. Girl, where is my highlighter? Sister, what's going on here? Sister Anne. Mary Jane Watson, what the hell happened? I know you're here. You're really trying to come for me right now. Girl, I just... There we go. I, I was like, I knew I just had you, honey. Girl, when I tell you I am so painted right now, I am so painted. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am so painted. Hold on. Where's this blush? Where's this blush brush? This is why I don't like... Oh, here it is. This is why I don't, I don't like setting things down because I lose everything. I really love this highlighter. Oh, it's like a blush highlighter. <sighs> Freestyle Highlighter Duo. I love this shade right here, this purple pinky one. I usually grab a little bit and I'll kind of like blend all of my blush together. I 
I probably shouldn't cut my cheek because my cheek is so cut already, but I still want to cut my cheek because I want to be real painted today. I don't know for what reason. 